You're gonna kill this bastard this time. Take his armor and put his armor on. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsey Snow and cave his bloody head in. Tom, we need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready. The house full will not survive to see winter. Okay, it's about to be a super war because she's working on something, he's working on something. Oh my gosh, and then uh, Roderick's working on something too. Hello? This music is crazy, like, right now. Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? Stop acting so stupid and do what you gotta do. Why would someone do this? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Hmm. There. <coughs> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. How would you know that? I just meant that since there's no obvious damage, that... Enough, Maester. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you, too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. 
My lord, she's here. He's working on the plan. She's working on the plan. <laughs> like everybody's got a plan. Roderick? You look. Elena. It's just me. Yes, of course. It's good to see you again, Roderick. Please. So, here we are. It seems I have a lot to discuss. Yes, I suppose we do. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon. I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You're always in behind the same tree. Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I am... Um, has something happened? Trust me. They won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. I wish I could stand by you, Roderick. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fork. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. <laughs> Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Heronhall. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. 
Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do that. Snow, I know so... what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his Ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? He's gonna make things difficult for both of us, isn't he? I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? I couldn't kiss his ring in front of Elena. She would have understood. My lord, are you well? This fight isn't over. Not even close. Dang. He betrayed his mother for his love and then turned around and... Oh yeah, this is gonna be crazy. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. I still don't understand. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch.
There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. <coughs> You're a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I felt the same first time I saw it. <laughs> I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? If you ask me to, I will. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Okay, that segment was annoying. Hello? Where do you oh. think you're going? At this time of night? That's none of your concern. Oh, I think it is. Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean... Now, if you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. <coughs> I oh, hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Damien? Where the hell is Damien? You were in the throne room earlier. What brings you to the garden? You do. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. <coughs> I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all the secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira, but you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. 
I... I should go. I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. yelling you did what you had to do lady mira you had no choice i need to get back someone might see me i'll take care of him i know a few places in Fleetwood. no one will ever find him we should talk about this later i'll find you everything all right sir <gasps> Damien, where are you? I should have kept that damn thing though. <laughs> now that I think about it, I should have kept it because they're going to find it later. doing here no idea hello Roderick Sir Ryland it's been a while since we've met yes last time I saw you you and my brother had almost started a war your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair remember that was a long time ago may we speak privately my lady Roderick I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. Bullshit, bitch. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Don't pretend you know what this feels like. We've all lost people, Roderick. Some more than others. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. <coughs> Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this... So you have news of Ryan? Yes, he's well. Not happy, but just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. But he is only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. Tell him to stay strong. Have him repeat our house words every day until I come for him. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, huh? Yeah, let me finish up this, and then we can play Matt. You know that, huh? Oh, okay. 
We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Roderick, <coughs> you should speak to Mother. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should go with his family. Huh? How long is it going to take? I don't know, like 10 minutes maybe? Uh, uh. But instead they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let <coughs> nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? My father. He, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was so brave. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan. My little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life. And paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband. My love. And our Lord, Ethan. My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. From ice.
I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bare my neck to win in pain and swim. And for now, that will end this broadcast. Because chapter 2 is now complete. Or episode 2. What's going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough <laughs> when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? <laughs> All right. Well. Wow. From eyes, from eyes, we fall. Here we go. And that concludes this broadcast.